Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to continue with chapter 4 operations on sets and the subtopic is about the combined operations on sets. As we know, as we all know, the combined operations on sets involve the intersection of sets and also union of sets. But how do we solve it? Okay, to solve the combined operations, first you have to know that we have to solve from left to right. And if there is a bracket, the operations in the brackets must be carried out first. Okay, and then we have to know the steps of drawing the Venn diagram. To draw the Venn diagram, there are four important steps. First is to identify the intersection. Okay, over here you have to know that whether the intersection is in between two sets or three sets. For example, the first one here is the intersection in between two sets. So you can see that the intersection of two sets is involved two parts over here. One of it is over here and the other one is over here. And when the intersection comes to the intersection of three sets, then you can see a diagram like this, whereby if the three sets intersect together, then you can see the intersecting area is over here. Okay. And the last one is the intersection in between a subset and a set. So the intersection between subset and a set will be this part. Okay. The second step of drawing the Venn diagram after identify the intersection is to fill the elements of the intersection meaning that you fill everything in the uh, area that I highlighted over here just now. Okay, and then the third step is to fill in the elements of each set. Each of the set you have to fill in the elements, which is the area of the white, uh, the white space over here. And then the last step is to fill in the elements of complement, which means it is area surround, surrounds the sets. Okay. Now, we look at example 13 in your textbook. This one you can see on page 116 is about the hobbies of a group of pupils. Okay, Based on the above table, you were asked to list all the elements of the following sets. Okay, You have to do these two tasks and then you have to draw the Venn diagram and shade the region. Okay, We look at the first one whereby we have to find the P union Q intersect R. So as you can see from here, P union Q is in bracket so we have to solve the one in the bracket first and then from left to right okay we look at the first one uh, p union q intersect r p union q meaning that you have to list out all the element in set p and q but remember the repeated element is not right uh, write down okay so you cannot write down the repeated element like amy iris and ellen we only write down once therefore you will have the answer like this Okay, and then set R, you just write it, copy down. After that, we have to know the intersection in between set R and also P union Q over here. What are the elements that is repeated? That is Iris and May and also J. That's how you got the answer of P union Q intersect R equal to Iris, J and also May. Okay, next thing we have to learn how to draw the Venn diagram. So as you can see, P intersect Q, there are three elements in it. So you can draw set P and also set Q. But we cannot write down the element yet. We have to identify the intersection first. And then for set R over here, let's see whether Q and R intersect each other. Yes, we have May. We have Iris. Okay. And then as you can see, all the three sets contain iris. So this will be the second type that we learn. Okay, it looks like this. And then this is set R. Meaning that iris will be in the middle. Okay, so after that, we list down all the elements in the intersection of the set. Set P and set Q, we have Amy and Ellen remaining. So set P and set Q, Amy and Ellen will be written over here. Set Q and set R, we have May. Okay, so we are going to write down May over here, this part. And then set P and set R. Let's see set P and set R. Any repeated ele uh, and elements? So we have J in set P and set R. So we write down J here. Okay, then you can see your Venn diagram like this. Iris in the middle, Amy, Ellen, May, and this is J. Okay, after that you fill in the rest. So P union Q will be the whole area of set P and set Q. So if you want to find out the answer of intersect R, 
this part is set R, you just set, set R over here. So you can see the intersection of the shading part that I've just drawn just now with the part with the part which is already shaded will be this part in the middle. Okay, that will be the answer for P union Q intersect set R. Second question over here, we need to find out Q union set P intersect set R in bracket. Okay, as usual, we have to solve from the left to the right. So we list out the element for set Q first. After that, P intersect set R, we have to refer to set P and also set R here by finding the common element. So the common element that we can see here are Iris and also J which means these two person, these two pupils, we are just going to write down once. Therefore, the answer for set P in the set set R will be Iris and J. Okay, then for the whole thing, Q union P in the set set R will be all the elements in set Q and also set P in the set set R. So the answer will be everything here. Okay, now we have to know how to draw the Venn diagram. As you all know already, the Venn diagram consists of three diagrams like this huh, because there is an interse intersection in between three of the set, which is iris. So you are going to label iris in the middle here. And then the rest we also already labeled just now, right? Okay, so the answer for this, set Q, I'm, going to, I'm not going to show you set Q first. I'm going to show you set P in the set set R. That will be like this, set P in the set set R. This is the area whereby it is J and iris. Then set Q, I'm going to shade it. So you can see the double shaded part over here. Okay, I refer back to the question again. Uh, Q union P in the set with set R. So if it is union, meanings everything. So the area will be this up to this okay that's why you can see the answer look like this okay 